G'day, comrade, and welcome back to Workers and Resources of the Republic with me, JD. In our last episode, we spent a whole lot of time setting up a whole lot of belts to do a whole lot of gravel. Not that gravel's going to be very profitable, uh, but as the Republic is built on the backbone of strong rocks, it was important that we started making our own. We also set up, you know, a few other minor things. We got chemicals up and running a little bit more efficiently. Today's episode, we have a lot of things to do, an awful lot of things to do. Uh, first off, we need to finish the gravel area. That needs to be finished off. We also need to do something about our farms. An awful lot about our farms. We also need to build a few more construction offices, distribution offices, all those sorts of things. And I want to get into, well, a couple of my mistakes from last episode. So I need to, yeah, deconstruct those. Yeah. Oh, tunnel boring machines. Tunnel boring machines are all, also on the list. As is research. As is, uh, whoo, speed limits. I know, I know. Here in the Republic, we're even going to have some speed limits. Yeah, there's a lot of things we need to cover in today's episode, which means I need to ask that very important question. Of course, that very important question being, can I borrow a like? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like early in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, well, uh, that's okay. I could probably find you a job somewhere around the Republic. All right, first thing is we're going to leave that little uh, digger right there to try and finish off our gravel area. And I need to talk about a couple of things. First off, uh, let's not do this. Let's go do the farms. All right, farms. Uh, we have a number of new farms thrown in. Big, why? Because farms are cheap. Farms are so cheap, they're basically free. Uh, but what I do need is I need more tractors. I currently have uh, four, eight, ten tractors. I want to get in uh, sewing. The farm supports 30 vehicles uh, total. I want to get three more. Four more. Four more. One, two, three, four. Now, the tractor's going to take a little while to get here. Uh, whilst they take a little while to get here, I want to move all the combines out of the farm. Mainly for the reason of, well, I don't like the order things are in currently, and I want to have all the tractors at the front and all the combines in uh, second. Can I get you moved to, and you moved, and you moved... Now, I, I'm going to insist it's not OCD, okay? And and you're going to believe me that it's not OCD. Uh, it's just um, 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 neatness. Yes, neatness. And it, it makes it easier for you guys to understand exactly what my vehicle makeup is going to be. I'll tell you out right now, it's going to end up being, well, 14 tractors and 16 combines. I think that's the right ratio. I'm not entirely sure, but that's what we're going to experiment with uh, right now. On top of that, uh, we have a couple of distribution offices. These are the ones actually collecting the crops, and currently they're putting everything into the grain storage. I want to get in our little transfer station here because, well, the grain storage only has room for parking for two vehicles, and I want more. I want an awful lot more. I'm going to want to have not two vehicles parked here, but you do six vehicles from memory. Do, 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 for cargo... Uh, six vehicles. So yes, this will let me have six trucks potentially unloading at the same time, which is going to be very, very important because we're going to have an awful lot of crops come uh, harvesting season uh, that need to get off the fields. On top of that, I need to get this distribution office up and running. So we're going to send the construction crews over here. Now I have a lot of roads over here that I'm going to have to gravel. We'll get them done during winter, which is not right now. Next thing we need to look at is ah, train tracks. Train tracks for gravel. Yes, I have put in a tiny little cross over here which, providing I've set up my signals right, means that's the exit track. It is, so if you're coming this way and you're building forward, you can now leave, go in the opposite direction, and I basically want to approve all of this. Uh, I want to approve that corner. I want to approve... Uh, that. That. And I think that's all. That, 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 and that, yes. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have a train come in here on uh, the right-hand track. And then when he gets the right-hand track, he can turn right here, head up to here. And then on the right-hand track, he can come in here. He can cross over into either lane and come in here to load up gravel. Once he's loaded up gravel, he can choose either of these two crossovers to leave to either come out here on the right-hand track or come out here... That's not the right-hand track. Uh, please be patient. Can I cancel railway? Uh, I need to go from there to... Oh, come on. There. Yes. Yes. Okay. Out there on the right-hand track. 
Yep. So, I need to get that up and running and... Okay, I don't know why you're bringing up, up Road Builder, but alright, sure. I get all that done. Uh, yeah, we have a small traffic jam here, and that is till this gets built, which is about 20 seconds away. That's already done. Can I get that marked as gravel as well and get that built? And you can be done without a vehicle. Cool. All right. So uh, I need to explain the train tracks. I have put in train tracks around the back because, well, I do need to get into the train aggregate unloading. The problem is somebody made a boo-boo. I'm not going to mention any names. I'm not going to call them out. But somebody made a boo-boo and connected in the conveyor along the ground in here. Which is a bit of a problem. Because we're going to have this garbage container here. Which is going to fill up very quickly for the whole of the garbage. Most of it being construction waste. Which goes to here. Which is a bit of a problem because um, there's now a conveyor belt on the ground. So I need to do a small fix. Uh, the small fix looks something like destroy that and destroy that. Yep, uh, can I approve both those and hopefully you're being marked already and I'm going to, well, you're being added right now. Uh, you're at 3.4 and 3.5 kilometers. So we're going to uh, manually add those two and hit the OK button. Cool. Uh, that's going to take a couple of work days, uh, make a tiny bit of construction waste, a tiny bit of mixed waste, tiny bit of uh, waste in general. Construction waste will come directly here. Well, technically there, like this guy and that's going to be fine uh as for the metal scrap that'll go straight to the border the mixed waste will go straight to well the great burner and that shall be burnt off all right uh other thing that i did do which is maybe a mistake is this pipe doesn't have a switch it's for clean water now i don't potentially need a switch but i potentially want a switch like i have a switch right here uh, but a switch right here wouldn't hurt. Uh, so I'm going to, at the same time, uh, mark... Oh, the whole thing or just part of it? We're going to try doing part of it. Uh, continue demolition. Yeah. We're going to try doing part of it. Uh, I might have to come back and do the whole thing. I might not. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to leave them to rip this down. Which, when you click on it, suddenly it looks like it's up in the air until you look at ground level and go, No, it's not. All right, so I need to get rip up that. Uh, we need to get the rest of this built still. There's a whole lot to do. All right, next out, I need to... Uh, I need to go to the border. Well, technically to the rail construction office. Because somewhere in these notifications... New vehicle type? Nope. Or research program, stock production, vehicle production. Ah, we have uh, road cranes, which just build tracks, just slower than what we have. Uh, we have this notification. This notification is a... KT1 5.6 tunnel boring machine. I want one of those. Uh, buy new vehicles. Uh, these ones, because they're great at building tunnels. The other thing is they are 400,000 rubles. I'm buying two of them. Why am I buying two of them? Uh, one, because, look, when they look like this, why wouldn't you buy them? Two, because they get a whole lot expense more expensive as time passes. So I'm going to get them early. I'm going to purchase them early. It's going to save me a fortune in the long run, I hope. And hopefully, we'll put them to work in the not-too-distant future. Uh, speaking of trains, uh, I have our Gruel train. Our Gruel train is coming over here. Now, the Gruel train is a CME2, which has a max speed of just 80 kilometers an hour. Whereas, perfect timing, you're coming in and you have a max speed of 100 kilometers an hour. You also have an engine power of 1100 kilowatts compared to our CME engine power of 500 kilowatts, which means you're not exactly fast to get up to speed at all. So I sort of want to replace you. Uh, so we're going to head over here. We're going to buy a new vehicle. Uh, we're going to go with diesel locomotive. We're going to go with speed to make sure I get these fastest ones. And... You have an engine power of 500 for the CME. You have an engine power of 1,000. Now, you're also longer, which is also potentially a problem. Uh, if I go and click on this train, you have a total length of 149 meters. The 150 is the max I can make uh, a train from... Do, 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 do. Depots. My train depot. My train depot is only 150 meters long. It is temporary. I do want to replace it with the long train depot, which has a station length of 450 meters. 
That's the end station. That doesn't help me. Uh, but I don't really want to build that to rebuild one train. So I need to find a train, uh, find a new vehicle, uh, according to diesel locomotive and speed. Uh, I need to find a vehicle that is, well, basically one meter longer. Uh, and hopefully has a whole lot more engine power and a whole lot more top speed. So 18 meters, 18 meters, 34 meters. Wow. 19 meters, 17 meters, 17 meters. You are 14 meters. And you have 50% more... 50% more engine power. And you also travel 20 kilometers an hour faster. You are the other one that I've got. But you're 17 meters, which is far too long. So we're going to get a DR Class V 100. That's fine. We're going to put the CME 2 into the rail depot with you also in the rail depot it gives me a little bit more flexibility for what i can do uh well trains wise uh i need to after this stop have you go to the depot uh no remove that oh that went back to the start oh look just go to change depot just go there just go straight there now. You're heading to the depot? Yeah, heading to the depot. Perfect. All right, the other train should be on its way there. Meanwhile, the track builder's off doing the track builder things. All right, whilst we're waiting for that train to get there, I need to stop at research. Where to stop in here? I want to get ge geological mapping because, well, Uncle Vlad, Uncle Vlad dropped us here and didn't tell us where any resources were. Didn't even bother doing, well, the basics of going and finding out where the resources were. So we need to do that ourselves. We want to get that research done. I'm going to crank it up to max because chances are I really want to know where the resources are fairly quickly. Where is that train? Did you not leave? Okay, you get here now. Because I can't give you orders until you're here. Uh, you're bringing in coal, or you just brought in coal. And how are you guys going? How far built's that? Uh, okay, actually, no, before I forget. Uh, okay, so the tractors have arrived. I need to have all these combines move back here. I need to have all these combines move back here. I need to have all these combines move back there. I have a feeling some of you might not fit. No, they'll probably fit. I have this done, but high priority, please. Cool. All right. Uh, you, I need you to have a wagon and then we can open you. We can copy your orders to there. That way you can actually have these orders. And then we're just going to drive, uh, drag all the wagons across. And you should now go to Vladivostok, like and grill, Vladivostok, like and grill, Vladivostok, like and grill, Vladivostok, and then finally like and grill. Uh, we're going to send you. The DRV100, uh, we're going to send you on your way. You don't even have fuel, of course you don't. And we're going to send you to clear your orders. And we're going to send you to go live in here. If you're living in here, I can do a couple of things. Uh, one, I could have you actually go to here and bring crops over at the same time. But for the moment, I'm just going to be happy that I, because I have a couple of trains here, we're going to change some settings. So at the moment, you had a minimum wagon length of two. We're going to set that to one. I'm also uh, going to change you going to like and girl down to 20%. Because I have more trains now. I have more trains to do more jobs. So hopefully we can have a little bit more often visiting here. All right. Uh, you are getting all the crops. And then I want to see how quickly you accelerate. Your loading speed is not going to change. But hopefully you get up to 100 k's an hour a whole lot faster. Uh, 25, 30, 40, 50, 60. The old train had hit max speed by, well, now in theory and you are still accelerating. So it's not going to matter so much coming to here, but if you go over to here, that will make a giant difference. 
Uh, meanwhile, you were out of crops, so you've now got crops, so you're now fired up again. All right, so I need to get that, uh, I need to get that done as well. All right, uh, I need to uh, set up some speed limits. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to grab my one-way road markers, and we're going to bring a one-way road from here to here. I'm also going to set up this roundabout, finally, because we might as well, and also bring a one-way road all the way from that roundabout to that roundabout. I'm even going to bring in a Vladivost. Uh, we can try it. Okay. And I do want to do the Rusky border. Uh, I want to set you up to be one way as well because you just have one tiny itty bitty connection and there is no logical reason why you can't be a one way. All right. Uh, then under traffic signs, uh, we have a road sign minimum speed limit. I didn't see this previously. Uh, if I look at gravel roads, they have a maximum speed of 60. So what I want to do is anywhere that we have, well, this main highway, I want to say you like you need to be this tall to ride this ride. So I want to say you need to be 70 kilometers an hour at least to get onto, well, this road. Uh, there won't matter. Uh, but coming down here, we have the turn off into the... Um, heating plant and i want to again say 70 so that ensures that like the gravel trucks that come in here they don't use the nice road you're not allowed to use the nice road no you got to use the bad road because you're slow uh here i need to double check we have this set up correctly so it should be all the i i think it's right away is the little orange squares orange diamonds with a white diamond behind it yeah uh so that all looks to be fine i do not want to change this to be a one more way yet i do want that 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 and that to go away uh but i do want to look at these i want you and you to be a main highway i want you to be a main highway i want you to be a main highway you to be a main highway you no that's right uh you to be main road. So anywhere he's going straight down should have right of way. That's the hope. Okay. And then can I get my, you need to be this high to pass or to go on this road sign. So I want 70 there. I want 70 there. That can stay, I guess. Uh, I want a 70 here. And then I want to remove that footpath because it's doing absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't like that you've done that, but okay. Uh, can I change you back to 70? Um, I want to put a 70 marker here and a 70 marker here. The idea is anywhere who's turning onto these roads has to be able to do 70 kilometers an hour or they can't drive on them. Uh, it does mean stuff like technical services, the garbage trucks, they can only do 62 kilometers an hour. So they should get designated out to this middle road. Uh, my fire trucks can only do 60 kilometers an hour, so uh, they should also get designated to this middle road. Uh, you shouldn't have anybody exiting, so you don't matter. Uh, that one and that one. Uh, that one and that has a link into gravel. And then we need to do this one as well. So here. After... After this, before uh, and after that as well, uh, I don't need one before that. I do need to uh, link this dirt road to here so people can get across. And then we're going to need our signs for 70 and 70. And then I also need to do this. So we need to go uh, there, 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 uh, there, and there there that's better yeah that's the way i look at it like they should have all the little yellow triangle thingies on the inside and then the next row around it should also be yellow triangles like so yeah okay uh you should be a main road 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 you should be main roads, and that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter, and we should be good to go. Alright, so I don't need that built, guys. Alright, you are half built, you are having everything dropped off right now. 
you need more combines, and I can't really buy them currently. I can sort of buy them. I get two here. I need to get the other four after I get rid of these trucks. Okay. All right. So that's that project done. That's that on its way. We have just double check. Uh, this is mostly done, and the track builders in here building things. We have power substation. Uh, can we put this out, please? That'd be awesome. Okay. Uh, other things we need to look at. Okay. Uh, I have an electricity problem. Oh, yeah. You don't have power. I wonder why. Where are you? Drive faster. Please. Please. That's a, that's a roaring fire at this stage. Oh, my God. Okay. Better. Uh, buildings maintenance, wear and tear, 36%. Okay. One thing I do want to do, and I want to do this pretty much everywhere on the Republic, is... I should do this in stages. Uh... Okay. I want to start upgrading all the paths to gravel. Uh, can I get rid of that? And... This is another one where because I'm going to be here for more than two seconds we're going to get all of those marked for gravel and in fact I actually need to put in a water substation here still can I get a water switch rather um you have the path at the back sure uh can I go from there Ooh. okay no that's not fully deconstructed Please remove the last of it. Oh, okay, we'll leave you for two minutes. All right. Uh, okay, so that's happening, that's happening. The last of this is happening. Uh, this has been ripped out, which is great. And that means I want to rip out that road as well. Okay, uh, this was a temporary dump. And this was a temporary dump. They've both been emptied. You are a truck that's just going back and forth forever. Can I put you into that office there? And can I get you to empty your backside and also you empty your backside? Can I remove that and that? And then once these two are done, I want to move them and put them, well, also in an actual deconstruction office where they can do something useful. Okay, can you go to that deconstruction office as well? And you do the same. There, cool. All right. Uh, speaking of deconstruction offices, uh, because I've had to do some deconstruction, we had those two little excavators that I needed a job for. Uh, they are now, well, sitting inside a deconstruction office with a deliver mechanisms only ticked on. So in theory, when you guys actually have a job to do, you'll get loaded on the back of a truck and driven there rather than you driving very slowly down the highway. Did I activate that? And you're assigned to all four of them, which means you're going to get driven there rather than you attempting to drive there at a whopping great big 18 miles per hour. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what I do want to do is bus. So you have 14 workers. You have zero workers. So this is happening occasionally. We have workers still on the buses after the bus is finished. And I don't like that. So what I really want them to do is to, um, well, get another food factory up and running. Because if we've solved our whole problem with getting crops in here fast enough and getting, well, our goods out fast enough, then in theory, I can support yet another food factory to start making any even more rubles. Uh, can I set you to... 50 workers on site 20 workers on site 20 20 you can have 20 workers from outside the construction zone come in otherwise we'll get them ourselves all right uh i do also have nope this this technical services office right here that i also want to get built uh you are going to be so i can put a whole bunch of snow plows and other things in you and get you out of the way the other thing i need to do is grab you you are just a uh, vehicle depot, a free vehicle depot, and I want to squeeze you in 
Right. Well, I want to be able to see that building. Because I want you to be lit up orange. Uh, and I want to put you here. The idea is if I put any vehicles here, they're guaranteed that they can get repaired. And then because I like fancy roads, uh, we're going to even give you an asphalt road. Okay. Uh, eh. Eh. Bring that back a little bit. Fancy road. Fancy road. Do you need it? No. You're going to get it? Yes. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get you up and running as well. Okay. You are just about fully built. Uh, is that rubbish bin peak picked up? Yes, it has. So I want to go out of there. Ew. No. That's the problem. You just never know how much you need to rip back. Okay. Can I... Pull that back further. Uh, can I set a big pipe from there to there? I can okay that much at least. And... Uh, I can't really click on that job. Okay, that works. It's been approved. Uh, can I make sure they're done? And can I also run uh, their works? Yeah. And can I get that built as well? All right. Uh, we saw research program has finished, which is great because that means I can do introduction to mineralogy. Yes. Uh, also means if I open up this and we click things like coal and iron and oil, we can see that we have resources on the map. We don't know where uranium or bauxite is yet. Uh, they're later problems for later journey to work out right at the moment. We just want to have some idea where some things work. Okay. Uh, other things that I need to get done going down my list is we've got chemicals up and running and I've already set all the vehicles that were getting chemicals to right here. You're not running. You're not running because you're waiting on your replace or the, the vehicle that you're meant to be replacing, which is not parked beside you yet. So I don't have to worry about you just yet. Cool. All right. Uh, so I've set up all the vehicles to come to uh, Smog, Smograds, Smog, Smog Ghost. No, I can't pronounce it now. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so we've set up all the vehicles to come to this trans uh, this truck loading station, but I haven't set up my distribution office to do the same. So what I want to do is rather than you going to the warehouse, I want you to come to here. The tracks, uh, the tracks, the road is going to be slightly shorter, and I'm going to drag that up to there. So at the truck loading, I want you to unload crops, which means you don't need to go there anymore. Uh, unload crops. Yes. Oh, you load up crops. Oh, you're... You're... Load up chemicals. And you're going to the customs house to sell them. Okay. We'll talk about that. Uh, so I want you to unload crops. I probably want 50% full. Probably even a bit more. Uh, let's go with 60% full. And I do want you to load chemicals once you're 50% full and take them border and sell them. So you're about full currently, which is a bit of a problem because I don't really want to have the workers here doing nothing because they're doing a good job. They're doing a great job. But um, I also need to have a little bit more infrastructure around here. I need to have a couple of things. The first thing I need to have is I need to have a distribution office. We have the free one here with three vehicles, which is getting us done for now but it's not going to be nearly enough. So can we go into general cargo? Can I get a, a distribution? Five trucks is probably enough, but we might as well build a 12. Uh, and can I just dump you right there for now? Cause that dirt road doesn't actually exist. And therefore, hopefully I can put you a whole lot closer. Like the sewage and other things sticking out, which is a bit of a problem. Another building's on fire. Yeah, we need to do something about that. Uh, that's going to be our next, next step. Uh, can I put you... Let's go with there. Cool. 
Uh, and can I get that activated and built? Also means that I want to get gravel here. Here. Let's go with there. Yeah, can I just get that part gravel for now? Uh, zero. Cool. All right, so we're going to add that to the grand construction list. Yep. Uh, also means that in theory, there are no vehicles coming to here anymore. You have the free distribution office. I thought I removed it. No, you're set to 60% on there as well. Okay. Did I remove something else? I did. I removed where you get cops from. Uh, which is life and grill. Uh, can I change the order? Can I put life and grill here? And life and grill is going to be crops. Cool. All right. That way we have a chance of using our own crops rather than just buying it from the border and being guaranteed that none of it's ours. All right. I also need to have more housing because, like, as soon as I build, by the time I build the next house generally the previous one is already full uh which also brings me to my worker problem i have way too many workers i have way too many workers and not enough jobs which means i also need to find them a whole lot more jobs but you should be done okay with you being done you not being done can i move change depot to there which should kick out those trucks that i didn't need and also means i can buy four more combines which means I have all the tractors in first and all the combines in second. They start harvesting in like a day. Right. Growing 84%. Soon. Very soon. Okay. We did start a little bit late in the season. Uh, okay. So I need to have this done. I crank the priority on that. And... Uh, I want to check all of this. So all of this looks to be built. Okay, and that road's been ripped out. All right, with that road ripped out, can I do a couple of things? First off, I want to bring a road through to here, under there, and into there. Yeah, uh, can I approve that and set that to be built? And you're going to have zero workers on you. All right, uh, actually, nope. Pause for two seconds. Uh, I need to have a aggregate train unload that one. And I would prefer it if you went like that. That is perfect. Can you do that again? I don't really want that much distance. I'd like it closer, but... Okay. Can we... Where is Valid? Yeah, no, where's Valid? Okay, no, just remove that road. Uh, and then we can... Really no, where's Valid? Oh, no, that's the Valid. Okay, can I put you... Here. Flatten out the road, uh, flatten out the terrain, dump that there. Can I get this road underneath? I can, beautiful. And then underneath here, and then into there. I can, and uh, nope, your road is on the wrong side. Okay, try again. Uh, flip, rotate twice. And uh, nope, uh, can we... My cancel button's to speed. It's still to speed. Uh, can I look at roads? Yeah, it's still just me. Okay. Can I do a cancel road? Thank you. All right. Can I get you? Can we flip you? And that's like literally what I want. Okay. Can I get a road under here still? No. Okay. Back a little bit further. Okay. Now can I get a road under here? Yes, okay. And then you can come to here, and then you come into there, and then that can go into there, and that's gonna be our grand plan. And you did have power, you did have power. Okay, 
Cool. So I want to get all of that built. Uh, also, it, now it means I know where my tracks are going. And the answer is... Uh, they're going... How long is that station? Uh, aggregates. Train unload is... Station like 149 meters. So very, very long. Uh, can we bring that track out to there? That track out to there? We'll just throw a gentle cross in here. Yep, like that. And then... To here. And here. And as far as I know... You're just going to the right for now. Okay, uh, so I can approve uh, all of that and all of that. And that means I can approve those and those. And Mr. Track Builder is still hard at work somewhere. Right, Mr. Track Builder? Yep, he's hard at work somewhere. Cool. All right. Uh, now, I do have some temporary tracks put in here because a long time ago, uh, I didn't really plan to bring the tracks this way. And then I'd end up bringing the tracks this way. And I really want to have all three tracks coming this way. But uh, there is no way I can bring all three tracks this way. So the plan is to bring them through here and join them in here, possibly. I'm really undecided. We'll come back. We'll decide that in the future. But um, that's a possible future plan. All right, can I get that distribution office, uh, technical office up and running? Uh, you now have you running. So what I want to do is I want to have you not go to the grain silo. And instead, I want you to come there. And then I want to change the order. I want to put the road cargo station at the top. And then I want you to unload crops till you are 100% full. Uh, you, I'm going to keep you very simple. You are going to go to the cargo station, unload 100% full. And I need you to do one, two, three, four. Uh, we're going to leave this set to zero. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well, that's it. That's all the farms that I could do. Every farm is attached to a distribution office. And if I want more of them, well, I need more distribution offices. Uh, covered hole, total capacity. You do the 88s, you do the 62s. You're actually cheaper. Well, you're never gonna run at 88 kilometers, but you're cheaper, so we might as well just buy the better ones. Okay, so that's done, that's done, uh, that's done. My pipe is... done. And that means we should be able to enable that, enable that, and enable that. And you should be good to go. Okay, as soon as that's done, uh, that means people have water. At the moment, the only water they'd have is what the cysteine truck has dropped off. Uh, also, this I want to change to be a whole bunch of construction waste, plus a whole bunch of biological waste, because we are going to have workers in here. And you, I forgot... A recycling plant uh, produces. What does it say? Garbage production per worker points point six kilos, which means you do have a tiny container that will eventually fill up with waste. I don't want to deal with that, so we're just going to put the tiniest garbage bucket right here and plug that into there. Uh, can I get that built? And I'd like to pre-assign that, but you know, I understand you can't see it, so you can't reach it. All right, uh, that should be everything we need to get this fired up, I think. I hope. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's not built yet. Okay, so why need to up? Ah, that's the other thing I need to do. I need to get the fuel rats to bring fuel here. And that should be set to unload. Can I get, keep that 50% full? And in theory, the fuel rights have emptied this one because we now have a permanent a permanent uh, fuel station over here, which should have plenty of fuel in it. It does, which also means that you need excavators. Now, I did buy the little crappy excavators. We spoke about the crappy excavators. The idea was I was going to put them in here because I just didn't need that much throughput. Uh, but then I doubled the amount of um, gravel plants I have. So now I do need more throughput. So I'm going to get three of the good ones. I could pull some of mine and shove them in there, uh, but I'm just going to buy three new ones because it's just easier. And then 
all this should be ready to go. So I'm going to put five workers in here. I'm going to put, well, you have 11 workers and you have seven workers, which also means I need more buses. Uh, you are the wonderful uh, LZ695B. Okay. Can I go to here? Can I buy uh, a bus? L uh, LZ695B. Can I buy one, two, three, four? Yeah. And unemployed. So I have prisons not working 25. How many prison buses do I have? Four. Okay. I need to change up their orders as well. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to set off. Uh, mm, I'll wait for them to get here. So you're done. Come on, guys. You need to leave the customs office. I have jobs for you. And we're going to send you off as well. Uh, you are now done, which is excellent. Uh, can I send you off as well? Uh, so you are a replacement chemical truck, which is replacing this guy, who was meant to go into here. Except that's now full. Okay, we'll have to find you a different job. Uh... And can I also add that bus? So let's put uh, six buses, well, four more buses on that route because I also want to grab my prisoners where I have a couple of prisoners that are not working every day. And that's probably because they're getting dropped off here and this is full of workers or doesn't need anything to repair. Like, no, you're living without any prisoners. So it means in theory it's it has dropped them off. Uh, but also it's a very long route. So what I'd like to do is farm a prison buses. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell them, you know what, you should make them come in here and we're driving on the right hand side. So you should stop there. After you stop there, on your way out, you should stop here. On your way out there, you should stop there. Yep. And we're gonna have them not go to the vehicle repair station anymore. And we're just going to unload prisoners at all three of them. And that's going to be a new route. Because I'm pretty sure one of these three will need workers at all times. If not, we'll add three more buildings. And that way, somebody will definitely need workers. Cool. Uh, making money? Not really. We did make some money last month. All right. So with that done, you should have workers. You have aggregate. I need to set you up. Which turns out you don't have a priority on you. I had no idea, but I assumed you did. Turns out I was entirely wrong. Uh, but aggregate storage has 70 odd tons of aggregate in there. We have construction waste in there, which is gonna come through here and get processed basically instantly. And that should solve that problem. Uh, can I also enable that? And with one excavator there, you are making 97 tons of quarried stone. You process 120. Uh, two of you is making 200. Three of you is doing well over the 240 that these two can process. Which means you're now pumping out uh, 82 tons worth of gravel each. Which means this guy is moving uh, three tons of gravel per second, roughly. But it also means I now have a crap ton of gravel right here. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to set that up to that. And then I want to set you to also get gravel from there. And then I want you to tell your friend. And then we now grab gravel from here. Also means that you, which are four big dumpers, uh, can I get you to come to here? And you are four big dumpers as well. Can you also come to here? And you are mixers. You are a couple of mixers and a crane. You're a mixer, mixer, crane, but you do have a dumper. I'm gonna get the dumper to also move to here. Um, because there's no need for them to be at the border anymore. In fact, uh, you're going to a prefab. Uh, well, I wanna move you to there instead, so that's gonna ruin your day. Uh, can I, you have a crane as well. Can I move the crane to here? Uh, I just want to try and consolidate things. Uh, you're a flatbed, you're a flatbed, you're a flatbed, you're a flatbed. You're a mixer and a bus. Uh, you 
should be getting workers from Vladivostok to keep Uncle Vlad happy, and you should also be getting workers from Vladivostok to keep Uncle Vlad happy. Yeah, okay, uh, so we have a couple of concrete mixes, a couple more concrete mixes, because concrete's still at the border, but otherwise we've cleared everything up. All right, other things I need to do is, I need to put you on that truck, and I need to put you on that truck, and then I need you to get moved to here for a job, and where's the other one? And I need you move to here for a job. And that guy over there, who didn't have a job, move to here. Because uh, you are currently loading up this with crops and also directly loading gravel into both these to keep them running. Uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna copy your tasks to here and then also move everybody to the new building. Which means this now covers those jobs. Uh, ooh. Actually, I want to move them back. Yeah, because I sort of want to gravel that. Uh, yeah, you just got, went unreachable. Um, how many vehicles do you have? You have a dumper, and that's it. And you have two, three covered holes. Can I get you to move there? And can I also find one of you guys and move you there as well? Yeah, we're gonna keep the old one in charge for just a second longer. Whilst I do that. All right, now you guys are here. I wish to dig a hole, a very important hole, an incredibly important hole. Uh, we're gonna go to lower terrain. I'm gonna come over here near the border. And you're yeah, probably about here. All right, no, I need to put on number two first so we can see exactly our terrain height. And we're gonna dig a hole. Uh, Cause we're at seven meters above, well, absolute zero. And I just want a deeper hole. Uh, can I hear F2? Yeah, F2. Let me just dig, get you guys to keep digging, keep digging. A little bit more digging. Some more digging. Dig digs. Big digs. Uh, widen now a little bit. Ah, that's what we're looking for. Glorious, glorious water. We just need some water, that's all I needed. And if you dig deep enough, uh, you'll find water. Okay. Uh, with that done, can we just... I don't have bulldozers here. Can I just stretch that out slightly? That didn't really work. Can I... Ah. So, level terrain needs a bulldozer. Level terrain needs a bulldozer. Terrain smooth needs a bulldozer. What about raised terrain? There you go. That's sort of the effect I want. Raise that up. Lower that down. Stretch out those lines slightly. Raise that up. Okay. Because uh, I want a very important thing. It is going to be another sewage discharge. Uh, where? Right beside the rusty border. Where else would you put it? Uh, yeah, that actually works. And can I get a footpath? Yep, straight up the mountainside and into there. Cool. Can I build... Two, number one, build that. Cool. Uh, and then we can turn that off and you can get back on your flatbed and you can get on your flatbed as well. And then we're gonna come to here and I'm gonna tell you guys to move to here and the other one can move to there. Cool, and uh, that should solve that little problem. All right, uh, so after this is built, we can change this over and be the main distribution office. Uh, gravel is now up and running and we already have two tons worth of gravel ready to go. Once these train tracks are built, once we finally get around to it, uh, we can then start making sure the distribution office gets gravel from here, rather than the border, saving us a couple of rebels. Not a lot of rebels, just a little bit. And, oh, uh, I had forgotten. I want to miss. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, you're running 110, 115, 78, 60, 60, 60. 
you are going to the bus platform and you're going to the bus stop. Uh, you just left the bus stop. Oh, you're in the bus stop. Perfect. And there are no people. Okay. And the bus... Uh, well, we just loaded uh, 160 people and it's still full. Okay, can I go to the demolition office? Can I go there? Can I get total capacity? A bus? Uh, we're running KSM11s. We're going to buy four of those. We're going to find... I bet it's the one with four on it. You're going to grill. Yep, can I get you added list? And you added list? And you added list? And you added list? And start. And start. And start. And you already started. Cool. Alright, uh, four more buses added to that list as well. Alright, next thing I want to do, because we're about to go all over the place, but uh, we now have gravel. We now have our own source of gravel. That's a wonderful thing. And we also have this distribution office, which needs settings copied, uh, winter maintenance priorities copied. That's slow our snowplow in there. And you can have a real dump truck. And you are full already. Can I grab a dump truck? Uh, can I get you to go there? And then can I get you to come to here and pick up construction waste and put construction waste here? And you're going to do that forever. Did I tell you to run? I think I told you to run. Uh, I did now. Okay, so we have one dedicated truck doing that, because that filled up in no time whatsoever. Uh, a little bit less biological. Cool. And these are full of mainly construction waste. Cool. Uh, in that case... Maybe... We put all you guys over there. And I buy a couple more of the garbage trucks. Because, like, construction waste is right here, but mixed waste is literally the other side of the map. So it's a bit of a hike. Uh, and also, can I do that uh, without that? Okay. All right. Next thing I want to get into. Very, very important. I'm hoping I have enough time. And that is another construction industry. I would like to get into wood. I know, of all the things, wood. Uh, what I want to do is I want to have a sawmill probably about here. And then I want to have, uh, this is very important, beside the center, I don't know, shaft, I guess you'd call it, uh, we want to put a tiny little wood cutting post about here. Now, I want to have a factory connection. It's going to be very important. It needs to wrap around like so. Uh, and then on the other side of the shaft, we need another round thing. Um, about hearing I guess and then I need to connect that into uh, no uh, can I like the, the separation is very important okay very very important between the left and the right so I need to make sure we get the separation as close as possible but perfect perfect okay so we need you and you uh, now you will obviously need a road uh, it can be gravel uh, we're going to put a gravel road here uh, uh, cancel uh, cancel road. Uh, okay, can I get a gravel road? I'm gonna bring a gravel road into here. Then I need a gravel road. You really can't get any tighter? Oh. Okay. Gravel road in here. And then I think a gravel road into here should do me. And then the probably the most important thing is I want to build a footpath from here to here. And then from there to there. And then from there to here and here. Uh, also from here to here. Mm, cancel the path. Uh, here to here to here to there to there. Because walking distance is going to be super important. And you say you can reach the middle. But you're also not calculating the path. So what happens if I okay that? You're not calculating the paths, you're calculating the roads. As soon as you hit that road, you just pay attention to the roads. 
I think that will be good. Uh, it doesn't solve my waste problem. I'll need to put in a trash bin. That gets two. That doesn't get three. Probably because you're not calculating the paths. Uh, we could try right here. I could just play it safe and put one right here. Okay, let's put you here. And then I'll put another one over here. Again, to play it safe. Actually, you can go all the way over here for like a... Yeah, okay. Uh, so I want to approve all of that. Uh, and then, of course, like, if you're going to have the left and the right, you, you, you need to, you know, make sure the shaft sticks out the front. And hopefully... Like, all depends on your anatomy. Some people is dead straight. Other people's got a little bit of kink to it. Um, in in the Republic straight, in case, like, even though it's it's both big left and right, you get big pair, big pair. Uh, I think I think we're gonna have a little bit of a kink. Um, probably a bit of a permanent kink because I need to get train tracks in here still. Um, yeah, I think that should be fine. Can I get a road connection out of there? I can. Uh, and then can I get train tracks out the front? And I can either bring them into here or into this main line. Um, okay, so a train's coming this direction on the right. Uh, and let's assume we want to leave. No. It's not really what I was going for. Okay, that works. Uh, there and there. And then if a train's coming this way, we sort of need to come... That's sort of what I want, but not quite. Okay, the next curve's going to be tighter. So, can I go from there? Oh, oh, that'll do. And then there to... No. Uh, okay, maybe we do the tighter one first. Because, like, if you've got a shaft, you, you, you want to put it somewhere tight, okay? It, it, it's important. It's a, it, at least, I, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's my belief. My belief that if you've got a shaft, you want to put it somewhere tight. Uh, so we'll do the tighter one, and then, in theory, that'll do. Okay. And then, although it's got a little bit of a curve to it, it's fine. Like, the, 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 the doctor said it's fine. It, it's, it's normal. And that is 80 meters. That is... Uh, clear. Okay, there to there to there to there. It's about 160 meters. In theory, 160 meters should be fine. 160 meter train should be fine. 160 meter train can park there. Uh, the paths are done, lickety split. Uh, apart from that one path there, but you can walk to the ones on the left or the ones on the right. You don't say the one on the left, but I have a feeling it's going to be fine. And if it's not, what we'll do is we'll literally just come along and we'll upgrade the path. Uh, we'll upgrade the path from gravel to better than gravel. Uh... Uh, now you're saying you're fine. Okay, so we're up, we're good, we're running. Uh, that's going to be our plan. Uh, that'll give us uh, wood. Um, this road will have to come... Uh, too sharp a turn. Um, there. You don't want sharp things. You don't want sh sharp things anywhere near wood. All right, uh, that is our plan. That'll give us wood. Uh, actually, no, there's one other thing. There's one other thing. If we need wood... We also need to, um, we'll have a bit of bush, like around, just, just, just a little bit. Something short that says it's been well maintained. Just, just a little bit. Okay. And that should be our future wood taken care of. And then what we can do is we can put a couple of trucks in here and we can take care of our own wood and then we'll just get a train to drop the wood over here, which also means you no longer get external wood 
and we can start using our own internal wood. Boards, that is. Boards. I meant boards. Boards. Yeah, wooden boards. Uh, we're also getting another construction office up and running. Yep. Because uh, you're full, you're full, you're full, and I still have vehicles parked at the border. And I don't really need vehicles parked at the border. Uh, you... Don't need a small garbage truck? You shouldn't need a small garbage truck. Uh, small garbage loading, small garbage loading. You do 85 kilometers. You do 80 kilometers. You're slow. We'll get you one. Okay, then you'll be happy. And um, that's being emptied. That needs a couple of biological. Nothing else, really. You're good to go. You're going to get built. You're going to get built. This is all being built. But that'll be built eventually. Train tracks will be built eventually. Trees will get longer. And we shall have hard wood in the Republic. And I shall leave this video here. Uh, so, with all that said and done, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Next episode, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to be doing. Uh, harvesting crops. Uh, they didn't get planted. We did get some of them planted. Uh, so we got some of them planted, but not enough. Uh, also means winter comes in, we can get all that graveled. We do need to do something about trash. Uh, more than just burning it. I need to do a few other things. Uh, also, probably new houses. And uh, also need to get you guys now moved into there. And you're good to go. And we are making money. That's all that matters. Anyway, with all that said and done, I'm going to be leaving this particular video here. Just remember, if all else fails, uh, the Republic has wood. Hardwood. All right, that's it. We're out. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.